So we need to drill out the trunk since we have no keys and see if there's any dead bodies, cash, or drugs inside the car. Ah, did that get some? And we are in. Hey, looky, there's a generator. <laughs> so we got a 63, 63 DeVille? Yes. Hadn't been started in 40, 50 years, 50 yeah, years? Yeah, I would say it's been a while. All the spark plugs were missing out of it. It didn't have any spark plug wires. I got those all replaced. Um, I did notice like the ground wasn't hooked up when it was up in the air. I didn't get it hooked up. I set the car back down. It looked like it was kind of flexing a little bit, so I was worried about the what positioning. Was, what the, was flexing? The whole car itself. Well, it's because it's 50 feet long and weighs it. 10 tons. I know it. Yeah, and once I get it all cleaned up, I do have the new key and lock for the front ignition, mm -hmm. and I'll replace it. I've got the new trunk and glove box key now, so they'll match, mm -hmm. and everything will have a key. I think once we get the tumblers out of the way, we should be able to just put a screwdriver in there. Pilot hole. I just put a pilot hole in there first, so that way the bigger drill will have a route to follow. You don't have to fight it so much that way. Good good. All right, let's see if we can pop it down. You're like Julia Childs, you've got all your stuff ready to go, the ingredients. Yeah, I was trying to be ready for him. Now, like the 70s had a button in the glove box that would release the truck. Yeah, and like 65 and 66 is dead, but... These not, don't? No. Not, not 50. Not wait, this early. 60. Was it 62 or 63? I, I forgot. I think this is a 63. Okay. I keep wanting to call it a 66, but it's, yeah, it's like a 63. Should we... Ah! Did that get some? And we are in. Hey, look, he's there. There's a generator. <laughs> what right. in the hell is he doing with all these parts? I know. I can't wait to go through them all. Lay them out. Let's look. Yep. Let's start Let's here. do it. It's got tail lights. But is that for this? I'm not sure yet. No. No? No, that's definitely not this. No. Those aren't for this. No, those are too new to be these. They should look, be it quiet. says Earl on the uh, Honda generator. Go ahead and pull that out. <laughs> we'll use that somewhere. Heck yeah. I'll get it running. This is body side molding for, side for the for SS for the SS. Uh, but that car's new. No dead bodies, no drugs, no cash. That's too bad. Alabama, heart of Dixie. <laughs> I don't know if that's what legal. Was I don't that? know if that's legal to say anymore. Ninety one. Ninety one. November farm truck. So that's wow. a. He's just got random crap in here. Mm -hmm. Let's look in this car. There's more in here. Oh, real nice cover. Yep. What do these things cost a piece, Hunter? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for these cloth ones, yeah. So just for a good one for my Harley, it's 50. Mm-hmm. That's the door jam plate for this car, I think. Yeah, that looks right. Let's see, let me look at this. That's four. So does he have a bunch of bright work and new? It's Fisher. Yeah, is it, that yeah, that's fish. Yeah, it lines up. There you go. Okay. So let's unload all this. Where are we going to put these spares? Down in the... Yeah, I'll, I've got to clean. I'm gonna, I need to spend an afternoon down there. 20,000, and it's original. You can just tell by looking. So if I ask you what we should do with this car as far as the rest of it, everybody's going to say low rider, slam it, this, that, that, this. And if it had 140 on it, I would, but it's got 20 on it. So I'm back to my old theory of keep it original dog. Keep it real, keep it how it's supposed to be. Um, so that's what we're gonna do with it. So what, what, what is your plan with this rig as it sits? Well, my first is to get all the, get the ignition key put in. Once I got it to where I can turn it over, um, I've already, of course, put new plugs and wires in it. I'm just gonna slowly move it, bump it around, and then try to start it. Um, I'm gonna let it run for just a second and listen to it. What's the oil look like? Looks good, looks real good. I was really surprised how well it looked. Um, I was kind of scared when I first popped the hood and I seen the plugs and stuff were removed, you know? So I ran my endoscope down the cylinders, looked in all the cylinders, I was no really, rust. no rust. Looked real good, um, so that's why we're gonna The plugs ignition, are you gonna drill that tumbler out? Yes. Let's do I mean, it. I may not have to, I may be able to undo it and pull it out. I'll just have to get in there. Let's, um, do you mind doing that right now? Yeah. Well, right. So what we're doing is different. we're going to swap the ignition tumbler out on this car because we didn't have any keys. So he got a, a replacement. replacement. 
So I should be able to pull the thing out, then pull this part of the ignition apart. Look, you may have to sit it. in the back. Looks like on this caddy, I'm gonna have to pull this cover and I should be able to access the lock then. I think it just screws on, if I remember right. So I should be able to just tap it around with a screwdriver and rotate this and unscrew it from the whole mechanism. Then I'll be able to take it apart and replace the inner key lock. Gently unscrew this. You just take your time. And this is all the angle of the dangle. I'm really not even just hitting it hard at all. It's just getting the right angle till you get it loose enough. You know, I, nobody ever taught me all this. I just have a understanding of mechanics. And you know, when you apply that to everything when you're less a mechanical type person. You start to think about everything mechanically. Um, there should be a little pin in there. I should be able to run like a, find me a little piece of wire here in just a second. And I'll run it in there and it should release this whole mechanism out. You can see it's a tiny little hole. Yeah, and if you could just slide something in there without the key, you know what I mean? And pop it out and slide a new ignition in, then that would just be too easy. So most of the time they do require the key in there too. But we have a magical thing called a drill. So discouraging when you know you're right there and it just won't come out. These are the, these slide in these little slots down here. That's something small enough to point with. Inside here, you'll see these little brass bars that are these right here and you can actually rekey a lock you can take it all apart and take these tumblers out and they'll have a number on them one through so many and you can match it to the key what tumbler goes in there notch four or three or whatever and see this is a one one two three four five six this has got six tumblers in it they have a set height here and that's what makes their number so that way when the key crosses and pushes over it, it's made to push it up. You see, when the key notch goes up and through there, it pushes the tumbler to the open position. There she goes. The new key, new lock, ignition, works in excel, goes back to accessory, and start and returns. That's what we wanted to see. It comes out good. Accessory, on, start, and back. Good deal, now we have a working ignition key for it. And a working trunk. <laughs> and this is the collectible car warehouse, forgive me, the VIN.com, where we're getting these cars ready for the spring auction. We've got some killer stuff in here. It's all over the YouTube channel. Um, guys are working every day, getting these cars prepped perfect. We buy it all, diesel trucks, Hyundais, Hondas, the works at GiveMeTheVin.com. We'd love to buy yours. You can click right here on the link. It'll take you to GiveMeTheVin.com. Put in your license plate. You'll have an offer in 45 seconds if it's not a collector. A collector takes a minute, obviously. A computer can't do that. But Cummins, Power Strokes, Broncos, Camaros, um, Kia Rios, Junkers, everything. We buy them at GiveMeTheVin.com. Please go there and sell us yours today. Thanks.